Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a dream that the Lord gave me back in February of this year, February 7th, 2022. Um, but I'm going to talk about more about the theme of the dream because this is a recurring theme that the Lord continues to give dreams and signs about. Um, and it's really on his heart and I believe that it will, uh, for many of you, confirm what he's already saying to you. But this dream was about the coming awakening, the coming revival that the Lord, the harvest that the Lord has prophesied is coming. And we know that the it's not just, yay, revival's coming, that the revival is going to be part of the fruit of the shaking and the tribulation and the trials that we're facing in the earth. And that these trials and shakings are not going to just stop and and it's not over with but they're actually going to increase in the coming days as part of God's process of purifying the earth he's purifying the nations and purifying governments and systems that need to be done away with or completely uh, reformed and restructured and through this shaking and purification will come a great harvest and if we didn't have the shaking and the um, the purification process that feels really r rough and messy, then any sort of revival or harvest that would come in would not be able to be sustained because the systems and the actual nations that would hold these uh, this revival, they, we couldn't hold it. So um, be encouraged that even though the shakings are going to continue and increase in the days ahead, that it's part of the purification of the nations and of governments and of churches um, that needs to happen so that the revival and the harvest that's coming in uh, can be sustained and last and not be quickly stolen or taken away by the enemy. So with that said, this dream showed that the people that were looked down upon, those people that are considered misfits or second class citizens or uh, maybe even some of the words like he gave me were like white trash or um, looked on as as trashy or um, coming from areas that would be considered white trash or ghetto. Um, the kind of like how people would just look down upon these people, not like um, they hate them, but just see them as um, too rough around the edges. Maybe they, uh, in the dream, the Lord showed me that some of these people even had really kind of dirty mouths, like they, they talked really uh, with a lot of curse words and they just were rough around the edges. But these were the people in the dream that the Lord had, um, that the Lord was going to bring into the church and actually use these people as part of his upcoming harvest, that they were the ones he was coming for. And so the, the dream was an encouragement that we are not going to get to pick um, the, the church in some ways is too aligned with the culture and how they view people and they look at people if they want them to be classy and polished and say the right things and not be rough around the edges or harsh or unpredictable the church has become too political in how she wants people that god uses to be to look a certain way and act a certain way that doesn't offend or doesn't um come across as trashy or harsh but the lord was showing me through the dream that this is actually upside down thinking and that we as the people of god need to do away with how we look down on people and classify people and actually have our arms open wide to the people that others would look down upon because those are the ones he's coming for those are the ones he's coming to bring into his kingdom and in the dream he showed that they it was their birthing time and that they were about to be birthed just like in revelation 12 that we've talked about we're in a revelation 12 season where the uh, the church is about to birth this harvest symbolized by a baby that the enemy wants to steal and these people that are rough around the edges that others would call misfits or uh, outsiders or um, not good enough not polished enough are the ones the lord is going to bring in to the harvest but actually the ones he's also going to use to do his work in in the harvest as well and in this time and so um the the main thing that the lord i believe was wanting to communicate to us as the as the remnant as the church 
is to not fall into any sort of religious mindset um, where our, and he showed me that if we look down upon these people or want it to, cer to look a certain way, that um, he showed me through the symbol of a crooked nose that we would actually be unable to, unable to discern what the Lord is doing if we're looking through the lens of a religious mindset that says, I want, a, this, I want the people God picks to look a certain way, live in a certain area, have a certain income, talk a certain way, um, be polished and polite and, you know, not have any issues that irritate or aggravate me. Um, and that was what the Lord was trying to do away with because that is who he's coming for. And he reminded me that uh, in Jesus's day, that's what irritated the Pharisees is it, ir it irritated them that Jesus was hanging out with people that were second, what they would call second class citizens, outsiders, um, you know, the shepherds and the, uh, the fishermen and but also those who have a past who um, who were partying it up or had, you know, bad mouths or had a history and and that, that offended them. And the Lord was saying, just like when Jesus came uh, to the earth, he came for those that others would call second class citizens. That's who I'm a, I'm about to use to bring in and use in the in the harvest that's coming. And so I just wanted to share that to encourage you but also remind you that not only are the ones he's coming for these these uh, those considered outsiders and misfits, but he's also coming for the prodigals and those who you've been praying for that that every indicator in the natural would say they would never accept Christ. And those are the people that he's coming for. So we need to get not put in not try to put in a box the way that God is going to operate. In fact, we need to be open to however the Lord chooses to operate in these days, in this hour of revival and purification, and to just join in and have ready hands and ready feet to jump in to however and whoever he wants to serve and bring up into his kingdom in this hour.